I've never heard my toddler cry like that before. No, it was terrifying. But luckily I fended the stalker off and Junior's okay. And what if you didn't fend off the stalker? My son and your nephew would be dead? Yeah. But I don't even want to think of that situation, that scenario. I'm just lucky he's okay. Gabby, I know you don't want to hear this, but I think because of your ectopic pregnancy, you do need help. You need a lot of help. Not you too. What are you talking about, Miranda? How does one thing relate to the other? I just dealt with the stalker in your house. I saved your son. I'm sorry, I did think your ex-boyfriend overstepped boundaries when he said what he said to you and, and kept pushing for you to talk about it, but now I understand why. I understand why you were in therapy. There is no stalker. You're imagining it, Gabby. I'm imagining it? How dare you? And how, how do you know that I went to therapy? What are you saying right now? Your therapist came here and reached out to me and I didn't want to believe him either, but after this situation, I think you need a lot of help because of what you've gone through and there's no shame in it. How long have you been sitting on these feelings? You spoke to my, th your, th my therapist was here? And he said all this? I was going to talk to you about all this stuff in due time. I just didn't want to believe it. I really thought you had a stalker. After how I confided in you and trusted you and opened up to you out of everyone, you're telling me my stalker is fake. And you're telling me I am hallucinating everything. And you're telling me that what just happened with my nephew where a stalker broke into your house and held a knife to his neck. You're telling me that I'm imagining all of it because of trauma. Because of a trauma from a pregnancy that happened a long time ago. You don't see how crazy that sounds? When my baby went missing and um, Joey said he found him wandering around the neighborhood. I, I reinstalled my nanny cam, the nanny cam I got when Melissa hit Junior. And I have everything that happened when I wasn't here with you and Junior. There's no stalker. It was just you holding a knife to Junior's neck. What did you do? What do you mean what I did? I, you should have known I had nanny cams in this house. How did you doctor that footage so quick? That's not real. Gabby. I just saved your son. And now you're playing games with me just like everyone else. Don't make me out to be crazy. No, oh, Gabby, the evidence is right here. Look at the footage. There is no stalker. You wrote the letters. You you have this trauma that I don't I don't get it, but I don't think you get it either. I, I really thought we were close. I thought we were family. But I'm not gonna get gaslit, not by you. I don't think we should talk anymore. I don't want anything to do with you. You're just like everyone else. Everyone else in my life has betrayed me. And now you're making me out to be someone that's crazy. And I'm not. I'm not. Gabby, you can't be serious.